I'm Chris Baker, the bird coordinator for the Northern Tablelands Wildlife Carers and the, the raptor coordinator as well. We're just about to go in and apply some ointment to the eye of a barn owl that's been in captivity for a month or two. It was caught on barbed wire and lost most of the feathers or all the flight feathers on one wing. It's had an uh, intermittent eye problem that we've solved now. It just needs five days of ointment and anti-inflammatories to bring the eye back. If, if the eye goes, uh, it's not usable. That means its survival rate drops remarkably. Alongside keeping birds and rehabbing them for Northern Tablelands wildlife carers, I breed a lot of my own birds. I've had birds since I was a kid grew up with birds. A lot of people don't like the idea of captive birds, but you learn so much about birds in general and their behaviour and, and their nature. It's a bit of an investment in time and trouble and money. It's a lot of it my own money, but uh, it's what you contribute to the, the birds that you want to look after. This uh, aviary here is 20 metres by 10 by 4 metres high, just adequate for larger birds. We've got three wedge tails in at the moment, but uh, with the netting, the nylon netting's forgiving with the shade cloth on, so if a bird hits the wire, they're not going to do any major damage to their feathers or, or injure themselves. It was a three month project to put it up paid for by concert that I organised for the group and uh, grants from the National Wildlife Council um, helped to finish it. So um, it, it adds, uh, it's a big help for me to ha have something like this here that um, other groups don't have. I think this is probably the only one fly to Avery north of Sydney um, in this area, anyway, on the inland anyway. So. Lucky to have it here. Two major uh, injuries would be car strike or barbed wire injury on barbed wire. Um, that's quite a common one. Um, the um, they tend to be rescued a bit more successfully because it's usually um, well they're, they're restrained to start with usually and um, uh, whereas it being hit by a car, they can crawl off onto the side of the road and be lost you know, in the grass, and people don't see them until they, they just die. But um, wedge tails particularly get hit by cars, so they've eaten a lot, and they can't get off the ground quickly, and so they, um, they, they just can't get above the car quick enough. And I think people underestimate just how heavy they are, especially when they've fed up a huge amount of food. So. Caring for raptors particularly is a very different setup to a lot of wildlife care in the fact that it involves a lot of killing of other things. It's not for the squeamish. I keep mice, I keep doves, um, people give me roosters. Um, I, I bring kangaroos off the, the road and um, dismember them. So it's a different type of caring than, than feeding a joey might be, um, which is a bit more cuddly. And, um, and it's not something I enjoy, but yeah, it has to be done. The birds eat meat, and that's um, the price I have to pay for, for having the raptors. The National Park's code of practice for wildlife carers is fairly explicit. They have a flow chart of whether or not the, the, the animal need, needs to be euthanized or not. Um, and um, experience, my experience tells me a general idea of whether it's going to have some sort of a chance, but also we have to, uh, by law, take them to a vet within 24 hours, um, and they will then usually do x-rays. Raptors particularly need to be x-rayed because you, you, um, small differences, particularly in the more dynamic raptors like falcons and, and goshawks, um, they need to be in top condition to be to be released. If you come across an injured bird of prey, the, Na the National Parks Code of Practice says that a, a, an experienced raptor or experienced bird person has to do the capture. But we do get a lot of birds that the members of the public, or particularly farmers, um, will, will handle themselves and they seem to do it without being injured. The best thing is to call 
the either wires or us um, and um, I, I will travel for or well, we have people around the district but I will travel for birds of prey a, a wedge tail can do a lot of damage for instance so people have to be really careful I think landholders are in my experience are very uh, sympathetic to birds of prey most farmers like wedge tails unlike the old days when, when there were bounties the, the only thing I could think of is that to, to carefully think the use of barbed wire if they can not use it with electric fences uh, as an alternative or a plain, barb, a plain wire on the top. Um, even sometimes to wrap a wire um, with um, electric tape just so it becomes more visible. Um, because uh, we've had young wedge tails that have been broken up on the wire um, probably on their first flight. You know, and it's heartbreaking to see a young one just out of the nest.